They call it the Lenovo Legion 7, one of the most premium laptops that Lenovo offers in their Legion series, and one of the most powerful laptops for 3D modelers and SolidWorks users specifically. Now, I've run a bunch of head-to-head -head comparisons of this laptop versus other laptops, so definitely check out my channel for those. But in this video, we're gonna cover the specific details of the Legion 7. Now, first and foremost, the build quality is very similar to one of my favorite laptops, the Lenovo Legion Slim 7. It's the big brother of the 7, and for me, it still holds all the favorite things that the Slim 7 has to offer. A nice aluminum band wrapping the entire chassis. It has a very good assembly on the bottom, where the way the uh, bottom cover fits into the side panel. The only thing that I think is weird is how the top cover sits slightly in compared to the side panel. I think it's an odd design choice. I have a bad habit of opening laptops like this from the side and so it's kind of hard to get my hands on it even though i know it has a tab right here i can just pull up it's just a weird habit that i just open laptops with two hands now the keyboard is gorgeous you have this very nice backlit rgb keyboard you have the rgb wrapping most of the front bezel of the keyboard deck you have rgb coming out of the side vents and the back vents as well as the legion logo right here so it's a gorgeous looking laptop now, in regards to the way that it looks and feels, like I said, it's very reminiscent to the Slim 7. And you could go ahead and get the Slim 7 and save almost $1,000, especially if you get maybe the you know Intel version, the Slim 7i. Now, if you get the Slim 7 AMD Advantage version, that's around $2,000. The regular Legion 7 is around $2,600, so there's a pretty large gamut of price points for the Legion 7 series. Thinking about Slim 7 or just straight 7. Now, if you want to know the exact live pricing, I'll put links in the description below. And if you do make a purchase of those links, I will get a small commission, but at no extra cost to you. But of course, that's what keeps this channel alive and the helpful content coming your way. As far as the weight and thickness is concerned, it's definitely on the heavier side of laptops, but only about a pound heavier than its little brother, the Slim 7, and only a hair thicker. So Honestly, this laptop isn't much thicker and packs a lot more performance if you have the budget to go for the bigger brother. Now, the port selection is something that would actually turn me away a little bit because I really like the SD card slot that is featured on the right side panel on the Slim 7. This laptop comes with a USB type A, headphone jack, and a manual cutoff switch for the webcam. On the left side, two USB type C's, and on the back of the chassis, another USB type C, two USB type A's, HDMI, and a network port. So we actually have four USB type C's on this laptop. So a lot of connectivity if you're a USB type C user. Now this laptop comes with a very bright screen. It has good color accuracy and pretty good color gamut range. It has 94% sRGB, 73% Adobe RGB, and 73% DCI-P3. I wish the Adobe and the DCI-P3 were a little bit higher, but still we have 94% sRGB, so it's good. It's not great, but it is good. Now the 99 watt hour battery will get you about eight hours of Passmark productivity battery life, about seven hours of streaming video playback, about six hours of Photoshop battery life, and about four hours of Premiere Pro playback. So the battery life is pretty good. I did all those tests at 60 hertz refresh rate on the screen, 25% screen brightness, and I set the laptop to battery saver mode in Windows and hybrid mode in the Lenovo Vantage Center. Now, one of the advantages to going with something like, say, the Legion 5 Pro or 5i Pro is you actually get control over the GPU and CPU usage. So you can actually shut off the GPU and get a slightly better battery life from the 5 Pro, but not really that much. The hybrid mode actually does a really good job optimizing this processor inside of the laptop. Now, this laptop does come with a webcam, and here's a quick sample of the audio and visuals on the webcam. This is the webcam on the Legion 7 and a little sample of the audio for you as well. And if you're curious about what the speakers sound like, here's a quick audio sample of the speakers for you as well. Now the keyboard is an exact match to the 5i Pro, the 5 Pro, the Slim 7. They all are the exact same. You have the same trackpad, you have the same numpad on the right side with the main keyboard slightly off put to the left. However, you do have a very nice RGB backlit keyboard that is it's very pretty. However, I would personally leave it off for the most part because I want battery life more than I want a pretty keyboard and pretty lights around my computer. Now, if I'm at home and I have it plugged in, I'd probably let it run. But if I'm on the go, I would definitely turn off the keyboard backlighting, the lighting around the laptop. That's really going to suck your battery. And oh yeah, that's another thing I don't have on while running the battery life test is all this RGB that's happening on the laptop. I think it's really cool, but it's definitely a battery drain. 
Now this laptop gets pretty good thermal temperatures on the 4K export, anywhere from 71 degrees Celsius up to 85 degrees Celsius, and a max fan noise of 52 decibels with a minimum fan noise of 30 decibels. So it can get a little on the noisy side, but also you can bump it down to quiet mode and be around 35 decibels and still get a decent export time out of that range. So punch for punch, the fan modes are effective and they do help bring that fan noise down as well as the thermal control. Now I'm not sure if you're aware, but Lenovo sent over three Legion 5 Pros for us to give away when we reach 100,000 subscribers. So go ahead, subscribe to the channel, share this video out, drop a comment and a like to help us reach 100,000 subscribers. I'm hoping to be there before Christmas. Now jumping into the performance benchmarks, you can see that the simulated benchmarks pretty much show this laptop as one of the lowest performing laptops that I've had on my channel. You can see Geekbench single core, multi-core, Cinebench R20, R23 single core and R23 multi-core are all showing this laptop with pretty lousy performance in the simulated benchmarks. And I'm so glad that simulated benchmarks are not what actually matters to the performance of a laptop, because as soon as we jump into the Blender Classroom benchmark, it's one of the top performing laptops that I've seen on my channel with an 801. As we move on to Autodesk 3DS Max, it's the number one laptop. As we move on to Autodesk Maya, again, top performing laptop, PTC Creo, tops the charts again, and SolidWorks, it is on the top of the charts above the HP ZBook Fury. It is beating out an RTX 85,000 workstation GPU in SolidWorks. So in my opinion, this is one of the best bang for buck SolidWorks laptops that money could possibly buy. Now, as we move on to Photoshop, it gets a 1,109, one of the best scores I've ever seen in Photoshop. But to be totally honest, I really think that the score of 970 from the Legion 5i Pro is plenty of score. So if you wanna still get a great laptop for inside of Photoshop, for video editing, then you would be absolutely fine saving some money with a Legion 5i Pro or 5 Pro. Again, I'll put links in the description below so you can check out the live pricing and compare which model you want. But if you're gonna be somebody who's doing 3D modeling and especially SolidWorks, then the Legion 7 is a great deal uh, because it is more affordable than these high-end workstation GPU equipped laptops that can be anywhere from five to $9,000. This right now, I think at the recording of the video is around the $2,700 price point. So it's a fantastic buy. Now, as we move on to After Effects, once again, this is one of the best laptops I've seen in After Effects, especially at the price point. But like I said, not far behind is that Legion 5i Pro. So again, you can still snag a great deal with the 5i Pro but if you need the performance for some other things that had the Legion 7 provides for you, then obviously the Legion 7 will be a good buy. Now, where things still stay pretty strong, but not as strong as I expected is in the video playback for Premiere Pro. And we have zero drop frames in 4K. That's expected. That's good. It's on par. We have 395 drop frames in 6K B-RAW, which is good, but it kind of blew me away because it wasn't as good as I expected. The Legion 7 Slim, which has an 8 gig equipped VRAM card, only drops 788, and it's about an $800 cheaper laptop than this one here, the Legion 7. And so I really thought we would get better performance out of the Legion 7 for playback. But nonetheless, it still did very good. It just wasn't as good as I was expecting. Now for the export time, this is an area that I was, I was flat out surprised. I thought, man, we have great performance in 3D modeling. We have great performance in Photoshop and After Effects. And then I low it into Premiere Pro, I export the nine minute clip and I see a three minute and 38 second export time. That's a whole minute longer than the Legion 5i Pro. So again, Intel's got a really strong advantage on the Ryzen processors for export times out of Premiere Pro. Now looking at the 6K export time, I still was a little surprised at 18 minutes when the 5i Pro was at 14 minutes. So again, you can get almost four minutes faster of an export time by going with the Legion 5i Pro with the Intel CPU. And it has an RTX 3060. So it's six gigs of VRAM compared to 12 gigs of VRAM. So imagine if you got the Legion 5i Pro with an RTX 3070 Ti, you could have an even faster export time for both Premiere Pro for both 4K and 6K video editing. 
Now, DaVinci Resolve, woo, man, this thing performed well in DaVinci Resolve. Super smooth playback on the timeline for 4K and 6K B-RAW. I was, I was very impressed with this laptop. So if you're a DaVinci Resolve user and you're wanting to dip this laptop, then I would say absolutely, it's a fantastic pick. Now the export time did not really overly impress me. I mean, six minutes and 52 seconds was on par with the Legion 5 Pro. Um, so that's an area I was kind of disappointed with, to be honest, but overall the playback was really smooth. So I think that part of the video editing process will be very good. I know a lot of people have been asking about DaVinci Resolve for this laptop. It'd be a good hands for the playback. Not the fastest export times though out of Resolve. Now I've given a lot of commentary on the Legion 7 versus the Slim 7 and the 5 Pro and the 5i Pro throughout the video, but I have full dedicated in-depth reviews where I compare the laptops head to head next to each other. So definitely check out those videos in the playlist that I'll link up right here. Otherwise, comment below and let me know which laptop you're considering and what your use case is. If you're looking to make a purchase, there'll be links in the description below. I'm always super grateful when you all use those links. And if you haven't subscribed, go ahead and do so so we can kick off the giveaway once we reach 100,000 subscribers for these 5i Pros. I'll see you here in the next video.